What's up, everybody? This is Afro John. I'm gonna tell you like the fucking is. I guess y'all heard about about Hank Williams Jr. saying what he said on Fox News or Fox in the morning. I'm gonna tell y'all this, man. I think it's bullshit, not because of what he said, but because of what ABC slash Disney slash ESPN did. The reason why I say this is because. Hank Williams Jr. is on another fucking network, <laughs> on another fucking network, talking freedom of speech. Not talking about freedom of speech, but speaking his mind. Talking about he thinks it's unnecessary for he thinks it's unnecessary for Obama to sit up here. Playing a golf game, having all this fun, high fiving, jittery and shit. And shit. Because it, it it makes no sense. And he wasn't comparing Obama to Hitler. He's like, it's like Hitler and Yahoo playing, uh, to whatever. And he's trying to explain himself. He's not. He's trying to tell him freedom of speech. He think it's unnecessary for Obama to be playing a golf game, having fun, while this country's in such of a bad shape. Now, let me tell you something. ABC, C, uh, ABC, Disney, fucking MSNB, uh, what? No, uh, ABC, Disney, or ESPN. If he's not on one of your fucking TV shows talking like this, you shouldn't put him. You shouldn't be fucking putting your fucking two cents in this shit. Because he's not talking about you. He's not bad mouthing ABC, Disney, or ESPN. If he ain't bad mouthing about the company or the network, then shut the fuck up. You see what I'm saying? Shut the fuck up. Because he ain't said shit about the damn network. Or the company. What gives you the right? What gives you the right to sit there and get all butt hurt because he says something, says something on a different network? I remember I did a video about how LV Live Video gave me a letter says cease and desist, and I told them I'm not on your site doing videos because it's against TOS. I can't go on LV and badmouth LV because it's breaking TOS terms of service. But I did it on another uh, broadcasting site, YouTube. I did it on YouTube to protect myself from getting a cease and desist or, uh, letter. And I actually said it in a video. So ABC, Disney, and ESPN doesn't have the rights to sit there. You're fired because you said something on another network, but you didn't badmouth us. And that's how it is. He didn't badmouth you, Disney and ABC or ESPN, because he didn't. Because he's got a contract with y'all. If he didn't say nothing bad about the company, I don't think. You should sit there and get so fucking butthurt because what he said. He didn't apologize. He didn't say, I'm sorry. He stuck to his guns. If it's getting to a point where freedom of speech is so fucked up, so fucked up, <laughs> that we can't say shit. What's the what's the use to have freedom of speech if people gonna get so fucking butthurt over what was said? Now I'm getting sick of this bullshit that I'm getting sick of this bullshit on how these networks are getting butthurt because what was said. I don't think that I don't think that ABC, ESPN, or Disney should get so fucking mad for what he for what he said because it makes no sense. 
he didn't talk bad about the company he didn't say nothing about the company he just spoke his spoke his piece but but he got he, and he got did wrong oh we don't need you because because what you say it and we're going to take your commercial down because you said this and this on another network motherfucker he wasn't even on your t network talking shit he was somewhere else talking about this and y'all sitting up there getting so fucking butthurt because he told the truth is that how it is is it is it gotten to a point where that nobody ain't got the rights to say have, have freedom of speech Is that how it is where <laughs> freedom of speech is really dying off? And I'm telling the truth. It's like this. If another, if it happens again, if it's ha if another person loses a job for, or or somebody gets in trouble for speaking their mind, and this and freedom of speech, is, I'm telling the truth, y'all. I'm speaking freedom of speech. It's just bullshit how these motherfuckers are sitting up there saying. Oh, you, we are going to fire you because you went on Fox News and you said what you said. And so we're going to fire you because of freedom of speech. Motherfucker, this country was based off of freedom of speech. If this country is getting so fucking butthurt because we speak our mind and use freedom of speech to the fullest and you don't like it and you want to bullshit and you want to fucking shit on us and you want to get us, oh, you in trouble because you spoke freedom of speech. You're acting like a communist. That's how it is. If you're taking away the people's freedom of speech, you're a commie. That's how it is. I'm act and I'm telling the fucking truth. We're going from freedom of speech, home of the free, to communist terrorism. Because oh, we supposed to be the best motherfucking country in the world. How can we be the best country where freedom of speech? And being free is getting taken away from. We can't do shit. We can't even. It's like a small room, a small crowded room, so small that there is no room to move. And it's and anything you say is wrong. We can't say eh, like certain words. We can't even say no more. If you say this, it's a uh, it's a hate crime. Okay, some of the words, I th some of the words I can agree with, but others I think is bullshit. Like we can't say fag, but in England it means cigarette. It means cigarette in England. <laughs> but we just can't say it here. So when a person from England comes to America, oh, could I get a fag off you? Oh, that's the discrimination. He said fag. He said cigarette. In England it means fucking cigarette. It doesn't mean homosexuality. Homosexuals need to stop saying it's a it's discrimination. Because cigarette means in England fag. Fag equals it's like it's F A G mean F A G. Over in England it means cigarette. But over here people say it's all oh, people get all fuck up, oh you can call me a fag, that's discrimination. Coon a raccoon is a fucking animal. It's not a black person. If you call a part if you call Latino a beaner to me it's a bean it's a food it grows in the ground that's it it's gotten to the it's gotten to the point that we can't hardly say shit in this country no more like, and I'm, like I said we're losing freedom of speech and people are sitting up there <coughs> it's bullshit because y'all sitting up here Bullshit, bitching, and complaining about all oh, the government's fucking us over, but y'all getting mad at Hank William Jr. about what he said, what he said on Fox News. Oh, I know you're wrong for what he did. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold up, motherfucker. Pump your fucking brakes and pay a fucking attention. You getting mad at, at the government, but you getting mad at Hank William Jr. speaking his mind, saying what he said. 
Now that's kind of fucked up in the way that you're that y'all getting so fucking butt hurt because what was said. I don't see y'all busting your motherfucking asses or busting a fucking great to speak your mind like this because ain't now one of y'all speaking the truth like he did on TV. So ABC, ESPN, Disney, y'all can kiss my ass and I'm glad I'm not one of them motherfuckers. Don't work for one of them motherfuckers. Because if I was, man, I would have quit on the... Hey, I quit. I would just quit. I would have just said, fuck y'all, I'm out. I ain't got time for this shit no more. That's how it would have been. I would have said, fuck this, I, I don't want to work for y'all. If y'all that... If, if, if ABC, Disney, and ESPN is that fucking strict, I don't want to work for these people. I don't. I don't want to work for a company where freedom of speech is that fucking strict that where people can't have the rights to speak their mind. If it's like that, to me, when there's a company or a network like that where they don't give their employees freedom of speech, you're a commie. You're a communist, as I'm saying. So ABC, CN, uh, ABC, ESPN, and Disney, y'all fucking communists. Because y'all just done shitted on somebody that's been in the business been in the entertainment business for so fucking long. He's well known in Nashville, my hometown. And you shit on him because he spoke the truth and you violated his Fifth Amendment. If I was Hank Williams Jr., I would have took ABC to court. I would have took them to fucking court and I would have said they're violating my freedom of speech, which is bigger. Who's going to beat this to me? Which was more important, your freedom of speech or fucking ABC? To me, freedom of speech is way bigger than fucking ABC. That's how it is. So if I was Hank Williams Jr., I would have took Disney to court. I would have took their asses to court. And if he loses, I think the courts lost their damn mind. Because I don't give a damn how much money ABC's got. I don't. See, it's like this. The bitch and complain. Like, ABC bitches, bitches and complain about certain shit. Like, they bitch and complain about freedom of speech. About Hank William Jr. said. But other networks don't. But he don't bitch. But ABC don't bitch about other networks that actually gives a lot of people freedom of speech like if you take if you, MTV they came out with some good shows like Jersey Shore was well, scripted but Beavis and Butthead Skin My Team Mom Teen Pregnancy whatever ABC ain't bitching about them trying to get them canceled and get them in some deep shit where they got digging some shit about that show Skins but y'all understand what I'm saying. These other networks give people freedom of speech. But. ABC wants to take it away from. Me. If I was. If if I was going to. If I was. If I was well known like Hank William Jr. And I got asked to come on a view. I would have turned them. To, look, hell to the now. I'm not coming over there. They take my freedom of speech away. Any celebrity. <laughs> is going to get invited onto an ABC, Disney, or ESPN show, I will turn it down quicker and you can say, kiss my ass and bark at the fucking hole. My grandmama came over with that and says, kiss my, kiss my butt and bark at the hole. But that's how it is. So like I said, the United States of America is turning from, from, from turning to home to free to communist. We're turning from the greatest country in the world to a terrorist country in the world because what the fuck the government's doing and so is networks. ABC, you can kiss my ass. You're a terrorist and a communist anyway if you're going to take away freedom of speech. If I'm, and that's how it is with me. They screwed him over for telling the truth and speaking his mind and have freedom of speech. And that's how it is. ABC is a fucking communist and a fucking terrorist. Well, this has been Afro Joe like a T.I. motherfucking is. If you like what I got to say, man, leave a good if leave a good comment. Talk about the topic, not about my about me, about my personal life, nothing like that. Just talk about the topic. If you can't talk about the topic, and don't name call my ass, be name calling me, then your ass don't need to be leaving comments on my motherfucking videos. 
if you don't like my fucking videos, I'm going to tell you one more motherfucking time. Stop watching them. Because every time you're watching them and sitting there telling your friends how much of a dumbass I am, you're actually making me more fucking famous than what you're thinking. So shut the fuck up and leave me the hell alone with that shit. <laughs> and second thing is, follow me on Twitter at AfroJoeTheWookie. Not the T H E, the D A. Just follow me on Twitter at the Wookiee, uh, at Afro Joe the Wookiee, and it's been Afro Joe, if you like what I have to say, hit me up, and tell me what you think, and put in a video response or comments, holla at me, thank y'all, peace.